if I went crazy, like real actual cluster cuss crazy, you might call me a lunatic. Or you might say I suffered from lunacy. But what does that even mean? The word comes from lunaticus, meaning of the moon or moonstruck, and it was more popular during the late 1800s, and yet it still hangs around. Surely it must still be an important and useful diagnostic medical term, as when the moon is full, everyone goes crazy. It's called the lunar effect. Everyone knows that, right? People have theorized for thousands of years that the moon has all kinds of impacts on us. It affects fertility, crime rates, dog attacks, and increases blood loss during surgery. It must be a full moon, they say. Full moon tomorrow night, all the crazies will be out, they say. So what causes all this moon madness? What makes us sprout metaphorical canines and race around in a fugue state hungry for man flesh when the moon is full? Are we experiencing tidal forces from the moon on our internal organ juices? Is it a result of us evolving lockstep with the lunar cycle? Perhaps the light coming from the moon affects our visual cortex in a way to stimulate the animalistic parts of our brain. It's been with us for so long as a belief, there must be something to it, right? Nope. It's all a myth. All of it. Tidal effects on behavior aren't happening. We experience too high and too low tides every day. It has nothing to do with the phases of the moon. In fact, your body experiences more gravity from your chair than it does from the moon. If the motion of blood was somehow that reactive, should you step into a full elevator, everyone would pass out from all the blood rushing to their extremities pulled by your gravity. No way, you say. It's true, because the moon is closer when it's full, and its tug on our materia and humors is stronger. Unfortunately for this theory, our moon travels an elliptical orbit, and the time when the moon is closest has nothing to do with when it's full. The moon can be full and close, the supermoon, or it can be full but further away, a mini moon. And in 1985, a team of scientists did a meta study looking at 37 separate research papers that attempted to study the moon's impact on all aspects of humanity. They found papers that demonstrated a correlation and then promptly found the mistakes in the research. They found absolutely no evidence. We don't get into more car accidents, hospital rooms aren't more crowded, werewolves aren't apparently a thing. We do notice the coincidences when something strange occurs and there happens to be a full moon. But we don't notice all the times when there wasn't a full moon. To learn more about this, I'd suggest heading over to the wonderful blog You Are Not So Smart by David McCraney and reading up on confirmation bias. So where did this idea come from? Historians suspect it's possible that the brightness of a full moon disturb people's sleep schedules. I'm partial to the idea that in history, the full moon was a high time for people to be active at night, favoring work or travel by the light of the full moon. So perhaps there were more accidents, but not anymore. People are superstitious about mundane things like black cats, ladders, and broken mirrors. So it's not surprising they're superstitious about our beautiful and bright companion prettying up the sky almost every night. So what do you think? What's your favorite full moon superstition? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. We couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like Mason Hubbard and the many others who join us to help create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community which gets you advanced access to episodes, as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta add some kind of uh, physical, Lunaticus, 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 okay. Lunaticus, 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 Lunaticus. All right.
This word comes from lunaticus, 